easily weld aluminum, steel, and other types of metals. And we will show you how to do it at the end of the video. But first, we will tell you which seam shape to choose, what gas and where to use, and how to set parameters. Watch to the end, and you will become a pro welder. This is Watson, and we've been producing laser machines for more than 20 years. Subscribe and join our community, and let's start! We equip Watson laser welding machine with rougher guns. Our engineers tested a lot of guns from leading brands and choose rougher since they are light, lenient, and show themselves the best in the welding process. Watson models G1 have one mobile mirror and provide only a linear seam. Models G2 are with two mirrors and create thicker seams. Seam shape determines if cracks will appear or not, how fast the seam will cool down, and whether it's going to burst or not, how deep and strong penetration will be, which seams are suitable for our materials. Linear seam is good only for cotton steel and stainless steel. For welding aluminum and brass, it won't go since metals will cool too fast and the chance of breakage will appear. Triangle and circle shapes are suitable for all metals. They provide even penetration from both sides and slow cooling. Sand clock and eight shapes are needed for thick workpieces. They give a higher healing and a better performance in this scenario. Protective gas is required to be used while welding because it protects the welding them from oxidation. It lowers chance of splatters and the porous welding. It allows to gain an even and beautiful seam. It eliminates the shielding effects of metal vapors and increases laser efficiency. It protects optics and cools down the nozzle. Now, let's go back to our metals. Nitrogen is suitable for stainless steel welding, but is not recommended for aluminum and carbon steel. Argon is almost not reactive with metals, but it will fit as a protective gas for all of them. Helium is good, but expensive, so it's rarely used. To weld details with a big gap between them, you need to use wear for that among Watson machines. There are models with single or double automatic wear fit. Important rule, wire should match the metal's compound and don't forget to clean the wire before using it to avoid oxidation. However, the diameter is important too. And in this table, you can see the ratio between material thicknesses and the wire diameter. Higher power is required when thick and tough metals are being welded. Speed that is used for laser movements, effects on heat supply, and welding quality. Too high, and the seam will not form. Too slow, and the metal may be over-welded. For the majority of applications, focus has to be a little bit higher than the material surface to set this. Watson machines have a rougher controller, simple sensory menu, ability to save your own parameters, and a quick change from one function to another. In one word, convenient. Now, let's take a look at the welding. Welding metals using the Watson laser machine is a simple operation if the equipment is correctly set. And here's your checklist for welding these four materials. Linear seam is good for carbon steel and stainless steel. Triangular and circular are good for all. And figures 10, clock and 8 are for thick sheets. Protective gas, argon is universal. Helium is the most expensive, and nitrogen is suitable only for stainless steel. The wire should match the metal's compound or be as close to it as possible. And use parameters we showed. You may witness the metal welding process directly by visiting us at Expos. Subscribe and give us a like so you won't miss the next video. Or follow us on Telegram. This is Watson from APPP. My name is Cheng Yu. Bye bye.